Hello everyone, today I was trying to think of another simulation to do. So in this one, we're going to make half the team 99 overall with low top 9 potential, and the other half of the team is going to be 36 overall with high franchise potential. So I essentially wanted to test two different things in this, and I made sure that the goalie and the defenseman as well, I guess the equivalent to low top 9 and high franchise would be the same for them in the realm of the 36 overalls. But yeah, there's two things I wanted to test in this. I wanted to see if the potential would really change the 99 overall players and if the 36 overall players would get better and eventually maybe sort of balance out to be even with them. But that was one thing. The other thing I wanted to test is if the 99 overall players are able to carry a lot of dead weight. So half the team, 99, half the team, 36. Year one, you can see the lineup here. So we got some very good players and some not very good players. The chemistry is okay. And yeah, because defense, there's six and three pairs. We have to have a 99 playing with a 36. But the team is still off to a relatively decent start here considering... They do have half the team at 36 overall. Here's the trading block for year number one. I always just like to show it because it's interesting to see who is trying to get rid of players right now. Who's on the block? I don't know. I find it cool anyway. So yeah, the team finished last in the division though. They ended up finishing horribly and we still have a decent season from the 99 overall goaltender. But the 36 overall players had that thing where they get sent down to the AHL and just pretty much disappear. But regardless, we do have the Art Ross going to Steven Stamkos, and the Tampa Bay Lightning would also win the Stanley Cup. They beat out Chicago in the finals, taking six games. Something very interesting to note here is that the third line players and the fourth line players all progressed the same amount there. So it really sort of starts to confirm my theory of ice time, but I bet there's still other factors contributing to that. Anyway, the goalie's down to 97 overall, so it looked like he took a bit of a hit there. The team is already doing a little bit better this year. That 10-3 loss to Toronto wasn't pretty, though. Here's the trade block once again, in case anybody wanted to see that. The team is doing quite well this season as compared to last, even after the trade deadline here. They would end up finishing 7th in the entire league already, so it only took them 2 seasons to make the playoffs, and 108 points here. From one of the 99 players, they do very well, which, I mean, is probably expected. Jack Eichel with the Art Ross, however, getting 114. He will top the league this time around, but there is a bunch of 99 players there. Carolina Hurricanes are going to win the Stanley Cup, and some individual trophies will be going home to the 99 players. That's good to see. The team was eliminated in round one against the St. Louis Blues, taking seven games. And once again, you can see here the progression is very similar Players are very close in overall for the high franchise 36 overall players. Defense, not really the same story. And the goalie's at 46. The other goaltender is still at 97. The team is not off to as good of a start this year. 17, 14, and 2 to begin there. And once again, let's go to the trade deadline. Seth Jones. I'm also wondering, I'm not really super paying attention here, but I wonder if there's a bunch of players that are just on here nonstop. Just keep getting put on. Maybe I'll try to look out for that. But anyway, team finishes second in the league after all that. Only below Carolina there by one point. So another great year from them. 110 points out of Mr. Center, 99 overall. And you're starting to see that the 36 overall players aren't getting sent down, which means we can have a look at their stats there. But I kind of go and look at some of them after the simulation anyway. Nate Mack is going to win the Art Ross. Carolina with back-to-back -back Stanley Cups and some more individual trophies for the 99 overall players here. Here's the playoff tree where the average Joes were deleted in round number two by the Winnipeg Jets, but at least they got them to game number seven. And we can see once more here that the players are progressing at a very similar rate. The 99 overall players seem to be relatively unaffected. I'm kind of surprised that none of the potentials changed. I thought that the 99 overall players might end up getting a bump, but it doesn't look like they really do here. They kind of stayed at that initial potential. So that was also an interesting thing to learn. But you can see the 36 overall goaltender stats here. I mean, not great. 
Let's just be real. But, you know, he's getting there, right? Anyway, the team, 12-9-0 to start this season. And they aren't really doing as good as they were in year two. But then they take off like they did last year. So this team seems to have a thing with weak starts and then absolutely picking it up. I guess it could be poise or something like that. And I feel like we are seeing some repeat faces on the block here, but maybe not. I don't know. I could be wrong. Probably am. The team will win the President's Trophy this year, believe it or not, after that start. I mean, that was still really early. They had tons of time to improve, and they did. We got 23 points as the best out of a 36 overall player. The goaltender sent down again. Over Chicken is going to win the Art Ross as part of the Tampa Bay Lightning. So yeah, they just somehow sign everybody apparently. And as you saw, the average Joes are also Stanley Cup champions. So it took them a total of four seasons in order to take home the ultimate prize. They had a few close calls here. As you can see, the Jets in round two took them to seven and so did Florida in the finals there. And we have the players here still kind of progressing at similar rates, but for some reason, the best lines this time put the 74 overall player on the last line there. Here's the defense. Again, the potentials are still unaffected. We did see one small change there with the medium franchise instead of high, but that's not really major. The goaltender's at 98, still high franchise for the goalie who's now at 55 overall. The team is once again having a stellar year. I wanted to see if they could repeat here, and that's why we are going one more season, regardless of the fact that they just won a cup. We got Eli Tolvin in on the block, and yeah, once again, just kind of showing you the trade block here to see if there's anything interesting going on there. I'm sure you guys will point that out in the comments. The team wins the President's Trophy by five points. So back-to-back -back President's Trophies. A lot of points coming from the 99 overall players here. And we got some improvement from the 36s a little bit there. Goaltender still getting sent down, so we can't really see his stats. But fear not, as I do go look at the stats after. Anyways, Stamkos wins the Art Ross again here. And Burnaby will be back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champions. I did not end up going for a third season because I thought it would kind of be a waste of time. I was pretty confident they would pull it off. Toronto did give them a run for their money, though. In fact, that game was an overtime win. Game 7. So it really came down to the wire. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys the team here anyways, uh, just to see what it would have been like in year number six had we simulated it, and they probably would have won the cup again. But here is the stats for the 36 overall goaltender. Never managed to get a 900 save percentage, unfortunately, but he honestly did have some decent stats for a 36 overall. Well, I guess he was up to 55 eventually, but you know what I mean. And yeah, just kind of going through some of the stats here to see the difference between the 36 overall players and the 99 overall players, checking potential stuff like that. 82 points in 410 games, but a two-time Stanley Cup champion. And then here's one of the 99 overall players with 430 points. So yeah, definitely quite the gap, which is not a surprise. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like if there's any other simulations you want me to do. Go ahead and leave that comment down below. And be sure to like the video, that would be greatly appreciated. I'll see you soon.